question 15, the last question in paper 2 of the 2017 National 5 exam. There we go, there's the trig equation question. It's in three parts here for a total of six marks. Well, there's the equation. Again, it's that we think here about the x, notice, but they're not going to bother particularly in the marking. x itself is just a number, notice, because it's already got the degree sign. So if you're ever saying x equals something, you should just say x equals a number. But if you put the degree sign in, it's not going to matter. Should, but it won't for the marking. Right, so you've got this turning windmill. The height of a blade is modelled by this. Calculate the height of the tip of the blade A after it's turned through 60 degrees, so after this has gone to 60. It's only one mark, so you just say this. Well, H is going to be 40 plus 23 cos, and you're going to put a 60 in. Presumably it's just one mark, because all you do is put in 60 and press the buttons. And if you type it in exactly as it's written and press the button, you get... 51.5 metres. Now part B again just for one mark says what's the minimum height of the tip of the blade? Well you can see here that the, the amplitude, the radius of the blade must be 23 and that constant 40 must be the distance up to the centre of rotation. So the minimum height should be 40 minus 23 and 40 minus 23 is 17 meters or you could do it via calculation saying well it'll be at the bottom when x goes to 180 and then do 40 plus 23 cos 180 and either type that in and you'll get 17 or you could think oh the cosine it looks like this so it'll be down at negative 1 there. So again, you've got 40 minus 23. Or you might just think the cosine can only vary between 1 and negative 1. So when it's at its biggest, 1, you'll be adding 23. And when it's at its lowest, minus 1, you'll be subtracting 23. Any of the ways, you'll get 17. Now for part C, it says calculate the values of x for which the tip of the blade is 61 metres. So that's, you're working at this time, it's in reverse. What's x going to be when you know that h is 61? So I'll write it this way around. 40 plus 23 cos x equals 61. So to get to x, I've got to get rid of the 40, the 23 and the cos. Well, 40 first, 23 cos x will be 40 away from that. Instead of showing that, I'll just actually take it away. 40 away from that is 21. Now to get down to this, divide by 23, so that's 21 over 23. And finally to get x, do inverse cos. Inverse cos of 21 over 23. Now there'll be two answers to this, you should be using your cast diagram. All sine tan cos to get the two angles. The two parts would be, use the values to get the acute angle and the sine of it, as in positive or negative, to place it. So the acute angle would be doing just inverse cos of 21 upon 23. So you just type that in, inverse cos of 21 upon 23, and you get 24.07, etc. 24.07, etc. So I'll just call that 24.1. Then, where could it be? The cosine's positive, so it's either in the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant. So that 24 is either here or it's here. So the angles are either 24 as it says, so x is either 24.1, or for the other time, it'd be the angle all the way around to here, which is 360 minus it, which would be 335.9. 335.9. And again, x was strictly speaking just a number, but if you put degrees inside there, you're not going to occur a penalty. It's just natural to do it.